Hebrews 12.2 tells us, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. We are called to fix our eyes on Jesus. He alone is worthy of our devotion, our praise, and our deepest adoration. He alone should be at the very center of our lives, sitting atop all our priorities. I encourage you today to seek Him at a higher level. Elevate your prayers. Worship Him more deeply. Let there be an urgency in your heart to chase after God, a hunger that drives you to build an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. In Matthew 16, 24, Jesus spoke to his disciples and said, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Now, let me ask you, do you have a desire to follow Jesus? Are you willing to deny yourself, to turn away from the fleeting pleasures of this world in pursuit of something eternal? Pause and consider what that truly means. The cross was never meant to symbolize something easy. It represents sacrifice, suffering, and surrender. But it also represents salvation, hope, and victory. At the cross, sin is defeated. The flesh dies, and Christ triumphs. That's why Jesus said, deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. Reflect on the weight of those words. Are you ready to follow him? no matter the cost. In Matthew 7, 24 to 27, the Bible teaches us, everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. The passage goes on to warn about building on a weak foundation, like sand, where the house is doomed to fall. Pause and reflect. A wise person builds on a firm foundation, and for us, that foundation is Jesus Christ. He is the rock we must stand on, especially when the storms of life come. When we build on Jesus, we are grounded, unshaken by life's trials. Whether it's the winds of adversity, the floods of sorrow, or the earthquakes of uncertainty, a foundation in Christ will hold us steady. Not only does this strong foundation protect the structure of our lives, but it also offers safety and refuge for our hearts and souls. So as you navigate life, build your faith on the unshakable foundation of Jesus Christ. When the forces of evil try to attack, when trials seem unbearable, your faith will not be overcome. God will not fail you. He will never let you down. Let me encourage you today. Let Jesus Christ be the foundation of your life. Let your faith rest in Him. Let your hope spring from Him. When your life is built on the solid rock that is Jesus, you will endure. You will survive the storms. You will stand firm in the floods and you will not be shaken when the winds blow. Now, let us pray. Heavenly Father, your word in Matthew 21, 22 says, and whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. I am grateful for this promise, that you, the Almighty God, will answer my prayers if I come to you in faith. Thank you for being a loving and affectionate God, a God of infinite wisdom and unmatched power. I rejoice in knowing that even in all your greatness, you take time to hear my prayers. You, who created the heavens and the earth, still care for the whispers of my heart. I stand in awe of your attention to every detail of my life, and I trust in your faithfulness to respond to my needs. Lord, I thank you for your goodness and mercy. You have blessed me in ways that I cannot fully comprehend. From the health and strength you provide, to the protection you place over my family, 
You are a God who cares so deeply that you have numbered the very hairs on my head. Thank you for loving me so completely, so perfectly. You are my provider, my protector, and my sustainer. Even when I cannot see it, your hand is at work in my life, guiding me, shielding me. I am humbled by your love, and I offer you my deepest gratitude. Lord, I long to dwell in your presence. I desire close communion with you, because in you, my soul finds revival and peace. In your presence, fear melts away, and my heart is filled with your divine comfort. Holy Spirit, help me live a life that glorifies God. Let my heart be humble and always filled with gratitude. Teach me to see your hand in every situation to recognize that you are present even in my struggles. I know, Lord, that you are at work in every circumstance and that even in my trials, you are my deliverer. I praise you for being my strength in weakness, my light in darkness. Father, I choose to abide in you, for in your presence I find safety and security. There is no event in my life that escapes your knowledge or your control. I take comfort in knowing that you, the Most High God, are working all things for my good. Even when I face uncertainty, even when the storms of life rage, I know that you are my anchor, keeping me steady and secure. Your promises are my foundation, and I trust in your unfailing love. Lord Jesus, I submit to your will even when I don't fully understand it. I trust you with all my heart and choose not to lean on my own understanding. I acknowledge you in all my ways because you are the one who makes my path straight. You are a God who never sleeps, never slumbers, and always watches over me. For this, I will forever praise and glorify your holy name. Even when the way ahead seems unclear, I will follow you knowing that your wisdom is perfect. You are my guide, my shepherd, and I surrender to your loving care. Cleanse my heart, Father. Remove from me any pride, sinful desires, or behaviors that are not pleasing to you. Replace them with a spirit of humility, obedience, and gratitude. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for removing the power of sin from my life, for setting me free for making me new. You are the Alpha and Omega, the same yesterday, today, and forever. I find peace in knowing that you fight my battles, and all I have to do is hold my peace. You are my defender, my strong tower, and I rest in the assurance that nothing can stand against you. Thank you for being my refuge, Lord. Grant me the grace to face every challenge with boldness and confidence in you. Even in the midst of trouble, I will take heart because you have overcome the world. Because of your victory, I am victorious. No matter what comes my way, I will stand firm in the knowledge that you are with me, that your strength empowers me to rise above every challenge. I praise you for the peace that surpasses all understanding and for the joy that comes from knowing I am yours. I praise you, Lord, for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.